取りかかっていて、あテカテカした茶色いあ皮の上に黒胡椒が振ってある。Okay, I have to look up a couple words in here, actually.、Uh, テカテカ、uh, in particular. That's a sound effect. I think it means like steamy, kind of. Let's see. Yeah, it's a glistening. Right. So,、um, the potatoes were、um, covered generously with pepper.、Um, mm. Right. p a p u r i is like a whole bunch. Yeah. Did, did I not say? Oh, shoot. Oh, wait. wait did you say butter? Because I thought you said pepper. I did say pepper. Which is、uh, in she, here, way it comes over up here. Later. My bad. Yeah. You're right. You're right.、Um, yeah. That was a brain fart. Yeah. Butter. Absolutely. So it's covered generously with butter. Um, and on top of the glistening skin was、uh, black pepper. Perfect. And the skin happened to be brown. Yes, brown skin. Gotta、right. make us know it's cooked. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs>、um, Sujin? Yep. Sujin.、Yes. Sujin's like my main killer. Sujin was、yeah, yeah. すぐに Uh, 戻,って戻ってきて、uh, キイチゴがはみ出した砂糖がけのパイの皿も置いていた。So,、um, the, a plate was put down that had、um, a pie that had、um, a raspberry stuck on top. But、uh, is this like a sprinkle of sugar or something? A pocket? A cliff of sugar? I would, I think that it's like,、uh, has it on top of clad, who that, that's the first、clad. definition of that. I like that. Clad and sugar. So they just、yeah, kind of sugar, powdered. Clad and... So they、yeah. just like powdered the top. And then... That sounds actually very disgusting. Just <laughs> <laughs>、uh, And then、um, midasu, and I have to look that up. What? What?、Uh, Hami da, das, dashi?、Oh, yeah, Hami it's for two s i n g I see. Yeah, without the kanji.、Right. Does it have kanji actually? Yeah, and, and it、dasu. doesn't make any damn sense. <laughs> well, it's, yeah, it, it's the, the dasu does, but look at, look at the hami. Yeah, I, I can't see the hami from here unless it's the、oh, tabadu. Is it no, the it, tabadu yeah. hami? It's tabadu, yeah. yeah. Right? That's why I said it doesn't make any sense. It's weird. I guess it's like a metaphor. Like, <laughs> if you p r o t r u d e it's like the nail that gets hit, but instead it's the raspberry that gets eaten. I guess so, but it's sticking out. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, it's weird. weird.、Uh, okay. I think I'm going to have Cookie do this. Okay. Nebari ga nani ka itta kedo, harape kono, ore, ore ha, sore, oh, so that's a wa, right? No, ore wa, sore dokoro shanai. Um, oh, Janai. Okay. Um, so, so I remember the Dakedo means however. Yep. Isn't that right? Yep. So, Nabari, nga, and then Nanika means something. Um, but I'm not sure what this bit just、yeah. after it is. It's because it doesn't have the kanji. Oh, so it's like he said something, however.、Yeah. Um,、mm-hmm. His、uh, so hara means stomach, and then peko no means he's hungry, he's starving. Oh, yeah, that's right. We've covered this last time. Hara peko no ore wa sore. Um, doko so sore is like that, and then it's like dokoro is something. So, it's place. so yeah, this is like place, but it includes time in with it, so it's time and place. So, it's saying、yeah. it's not the time for that. I,、yeah. I bet. Is there a- I bet I, in I would, Pokemon when they say, This is not the time and place to ride your bike over in the store. Probably, oh, yeah. yeah. Probably.、Um, yeah. I was thinking it, of it like I was in no place for that, like emotionally. This is not、yeah. the time for that. Yeah, out of the question. That's pretty good to me. Thank you, Google. So, Dokoro is the same as、uh, Tokoro, but、yes. it's just for pronoun- easier pronunciation. Yes, because、right. they're, they're making it obvious that this is kind of one word now. So, they Dokoro. Okay. So the dreamer and Daku are、yeah. kind of mashing them together. Yeah. Are you,、uh, Cookie, are you familiar with the concept of Dendaku? 
I'm sorry. Could you say um, that again? I couldn't so, hear you. Ren Daku, that's the voicing thing. He's that random yeah. words will be voiced. So yeah, it's when uh, so Ren Daku, uh, if the two kanji in it are Ren, which means like uh, continual or like se sequential, and the Daku is the Daku like Daku ten, the voiced. So when you have something in sequence, uh, when it would normally be when the first sound in it in something that follows something else would normally be unvoiced, sometimes it will be voiced. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't, I, I'm someone who doesn't really follow um, terminology, like know, voicing right. and stuff. Right, right, so voicing just means that it has dakuten, that it, it has the, the the two lines, like, yeah, like do. In, in okay, do yeah. Do. Yeah, so mm -hmm. like ga is a voiced, um, the, the G sound is a voiced consonant, D is voiced, Z is voiced, J is voiced. Whereas like, yeah. S is so, unvoiced. I I'm going to explain what voicing is. The easiest way to do that is if you make an S in your mouth, can you just go S? Yeah, it is, I, I pretty much see it as if, if you, you pronounce it slightly differently. You so don't. that yeah. it still sounds yeah. like it's, what you it, intend it to be, but it's easier to pronounce. So it, voicing well, specifically is meaning that your mouth isn't doing anything different to produce these two characters. There's only one yeah. difference between these characters, and it's that for one of them, you are vibrating your voice box for, and that's why this is called voicing. Oh, so okay. if you make an S sound and go, and then make a Z sound, Z this is yeah. the easiest way to tell the difference. Let's go. Yeah. Everything else your, is a little bit harder. For mm -hmm. sure. If, if you feel your throat, like your voice box, like you put your hand to it, and you go, it doesn't vibrate. If you go, zzz, it does vibrate. Yes, it does. Yeah, but same very thing with, quickly. Yeah, and then same uh, thing with like, and that's what voicing is. Yeah. So K and D, T, sorry, T and D, K and G. So that's yeah. what voicing is. Um, mm -hmm. and in Japanese, their writing system is made with these pairs. Um, the only exception is ha, where instead they do it with the it's the pa and the ba that are the, the yeah. um voice and voiceless counterparts. For yeah, sure. yeah. Um, so yeah, so so rendaku like literally means in sequence it is voiced, right? Sequence voiced. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, when you have things in sequence where they normally wouldn't be um, something that normally wouldn't be voiced, maybe maybe voiced. I can't think of a good example. My best example that, or, is or, Toki Doki. Doki. Yeah, that's a really good one actually. Because it's, it's repeating yeah. Toki twice. Yeah. Yeah, but uh. yeah, the second one starts with do. And that's a very good example of Denmaku. Yeah. That's that's yeah. Doki doki. Um which means every once in a while. But yeah, that was that was a cool little random lesson for you. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Um Chris, your turn. Sure. Um oh just a moment, sorry. Oh. Uh Cool. But yeah, you don't need to know the word rendaku. Um, it 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 is used a lot, but you don't like need it. <laughs> you know, like I just say, oh, it's voice dear. I just that's that's as far as I go, rather than doing the whole okay rendaku level. Mm -hmm. Um, I just know the word because it does like pop up often enough that it's familiar vaguely. Um, but just you just say as a ten ten mark. Um, mm -hmm. I just like voicing because I just think it's a cool linguistics thing. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. Awesome. Yeah. I heard a bit of your conversation. I love phonetics so much. It's so one much. of the things that drew me to Japanese in general is getting to learn more about phonetics. Totally. But, okay. I'll go ahead and read this line. Fuoka wo totte sesse to jagaimo wo kiri bata ni hitashite omoi kiri kaburi tsuita. I have to look up a few words in here. Um, in particular, sese. Sasa, sasa is like diligently, I think. Let's see. Yep. yep. First definition in there. And then there's another one. Uh, hitashite. That's a soak. Ah. That's the word. Tasu. And then uh, kaburi tsuiku. That's the bite at. Seek your teeth into. The moikiri is where I was like, what is it? Oh, yeah, it's like that was the one bigger. I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, I actually saw that word in the novel I'm reading quite a bit. Ah. Um, anyways, um, 
So I took the fork and I digi diligently uh, cut the potato and I soaked it in butter and uh, with force, with my strength, I chomped down on it. Perfect. And next is a perfect sentence for cookie. Uh, okay. I don't know. Let me just move the participants window. Okay. Nebari wa ore o Um, so, so, nebari and, um, the bit after it was like, um, he like looked at or stared at me, right? Yes. Yeah, we exactly. did this last time. Good job. Yep. It is a stare at. And mm -hmm. the number that goes, Joika Kozo, which is like, Joika is like weird, but it's like all is good. Ika? Yeah. Ika. Joika. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's him being an old man right there. Mm -hmm. Joika. Um, well then, is that good, brat? Um, Omai wa mamonaku washi no mado seki ni. So it has come to be that you are that my um magical stone is going to kill you uh if you don't do anything, I think. Mamonaku shortly, soon. Mm -hmm. Miles and Aida. So soon, mm -hmm. uh, boy, you will be killed by my stone that you stole. Um Ima now, inochiga aru dakide demo. Um, the fact that you are still alive now, I am very surprised by that. Cool. That's why he said earlier, Bean Bean Sidana with the mm -hmm. Nemo Kaka. Oh, yeah, it's, it's pretty, that makes sense. It's pretty. Um, and I think I'm gonna have Cookie do this one. It, yeah, I, I think he, I knew you were gonna do this. Okay, Koenga <laughs> Kaze ni. Kaki, uh, and then we had this. I think it's he. I am lost. At? I am lost. I'm lost okay, too. So... I am lost. Where are you looking? Oh, at? oh Tokukana. my god! Did you did you turn the page? Did you turn I the did. Page? I turned the page. Oh, I thought we were on the. Oh, left I see. Side. It. You're looking at the, the last line. I, I was see looking it. at the. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, sorry. Eh, ore wa kuchi no naka no mono. Uh. Gokuri to tono mikonda. Okay, so it's like, huh? Um, my, my the inside of my mouth, and then there's the mono. So I'm thinking that's yeah. things or whatever. Yeah, uh, the things inside my mouth. Yeah, my teeth or whatever tongue. No, no, no me. It's uh, uh no. The, the food, it's, right? it's the it's the food. Yeah. Um, oh, the yeah. most important part is the no mikonda. You know what nomu means? Uh, to drink. Yep. So what do you think nomi konda means? Oh. Okay, so I'm thinking it's in past tense, or maybe that's a trick. <laughs> well, yeah. gokuri uh, is the sound effect for it. Yeah, komu is a really common, like, oh, so I don't common. know if modifier is the right word, maybe like it, it, it's, verb. It's, it's not, well, I guess, I think of these as compounds. They're compound yeah. verbs. Yeah. So it's when you take two verbs together and mash them together. And komu, yeah, that's right. Is is just part of that. That's why it's in staff form. No me. Like that's just their um word formation. Sorry, I thought one line yeah, their word yeah. formation rule for, for sure. compound verbs. Uh verb stem then comment. Yeah. But so, there's also like dasu and theoretically I guess hajimedu and things like that. But I wouldn't totally yeah. put that underneath the modifier section because it's because it's what it is is just two words. like for example, you can there, there's like um it's it's very common. It's just it's just taking two verbs, mashing them together. It's a compound. Yeah, that's right. Compound yeah. verb. Mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, common in particular. I feel like the context that it gives is kind of uh, counterintuitive. Is it? Right? I always I, think komu is extremely obvious from what it means. Really, because komu is just to to go in. Yeah, right? to to go but, into a smaller place. Mm, kind of, because yeah. you can't komu so. into an open. You need to komu into something. Like I guess not necessarily a smaller place. Though. Like 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 Tobikomu, for example. Tobikomu. Right. It's just like to leave. Right. True. You can, you're you're you can leaping leap from into... building to building or something, right? But 
yeah I, I you can leap from an open space to another open space well well it's it's normally leaping at something so you can't just leap with that's not no we come is not just leap it's a leap at like into something for example you can leap into someone's arms mm. Toby yeah because yeah because leaping would be if you just want to leap from building the building you'd use something else unless there's something unless you want that specifies leaping onto the building mm. yeah I feel it, that. it'd be kind of weird if it's not into someone's arms basically yeah. there needs to be like some kind of boundary in the location you're komuing so the boundary here nomu komu is his throat from his mouth so originally it was in the mouth and then it's going to go into the throat because hmm. he's nomuing so nomi komu means to swallow that's why he's going gokuri to gulp down to swallow deeply yeah so he, he what does he swallow do you remember? So it's pretty much his food, right? Yeah, what he's yeah, eating. The, the yeah. things inside of his mouth. I didn't think decides... they called it that. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're they're saying it this way just because he's like, eh? so it's not a normal swallowing going on here. It's very oh. much a um he's eating his food and nobody's like, huh, I'm surprised they're alive. My stone was supposed to kill you like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> so so the main character is like, what? <laughs> like mm -hmm. a big old goal big yeah. old goal Some, of this food something that i've always thought about the like adding komu to something was that it's almost like adding like tesima like it's like really it's like to some extent extreme mm. it, it's it's extreme but there's not really an oh no I definitely don't know. yeah like, not necessarily a bad connotation yeah like, not the not the like bad connotation tesima the like completely tesima, i guess you feel yeah. yeah well it has to completely well, like nige komu, for for example, doesn't mm -hmm. really mean you necessarily successfully escaped, but it means you mm -hmm. escaped and are hiding, like mm -hmm. yeah. in, in something basically. Like you went, you were in a hiding spot now with nige komu, v yeah. versus like nige, I don't know what would be the <laughs> nige do <laughs> probably. Yeah, yeah. When I when I I recall learning this grammar point from the textbook told me about. Yeah. I think I will review it again there because they, they explain it in a way that's a bit different from the way you explain it, but I like the way you explain it. Oh, I never I even wanna... looked at the grammar. I, just... I see. Yeah, I just, just want to compare it. In two places. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Yeah, I'll be thinking about that a lot. Uh, hi. Um, Jagaimo ga namari no katamari no yo ni nodo o subete iki karap. So um the the potato that I was eating, it um felt kind of like lead, like a lump of lead. I think that's what katari means. Yep, a lump mm -hmm. of lead. And um it kind of um was a lump of lead in my throat. Um and um, when it fell into my stomach, um, I felt like I could hear the sound it made. Um, and this part right here is going to be cookie. Okay, so I think I I think you pronounced that kanji earlier. I think so that means inochi. inochi. Yep. Yeah, inochi no ubawareru. So that means, um, so ubawareru. I'm not Ubao sure what that means at the end. Ubao means to steal. So what do you think a metaphor with that would be with inochi? A metaphor uh, like your fate or something? Not really. So to steal someone's life means to kill them. Yeah, to kill them. Yeah, okay. Yeah, oh, when you look and... it up in a English or Japanese to English dictionary, I think to take someone's life is a the way it translates it that makes sense yeah, yeah english <laughs> um and this right here is now in passive form because the main character is not killing himself someone else is going to kill him yeah that's right and that makes sense right and now it's going to be um Actually, this part right here, I'm going to have Cookie do it again, and then okay. it's going so to be Chris. Yeah. Okay. So, Cookie, okay. one more time. Majushi. Is that right? It's over Ooh. here. Yeah, Madoseki. Madose. Uh, Why did they have the Furigana over there? But not this is, so, it's because this book is based off of pages. 
So the way it does uh, it is that the first time a kanji appears on any, I think, two pages, it gets furigana, and then it doesn't. And then when you go to the next page, when they reintroduce it, and they just didn't edit this text for um this specific okay. preview window. Yeah, I'm going to give you a good uh, way to remember how this is read. And it's actually a really good oh. tip for understanding kanji in general. Um, mm -hmm. So a lot of the time, certain radicals suggest certain readings. Right? Yeah, that's so, right. So if you look at the top, or just the top part of the do in ma seki, right? That's mm -hmm. uh, the kanji niti, right? Road. Yeah, that's and it's, right. It's onyomi is do, right? Yeah, that's um, right. So that suggests that this is read, that this kanji's uh, onyomi is also do. So mm -hmm. it's ma seki. Mm, okay. Um, it also, so, I guess, must have relation with the meaning of the kanji because do can also yeah. mean the way you do something. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I, since I the way of a, magic rock. But this was a nichibiku, right? Am I, am I wrong? I don't know what right. that word means. It's a to guide. The to guide. Do it, it, it's an a rock that nichibiku. guides magic. That makes guides logical magic. sense. Yeah, and so guide kind of makes sense that it has road in it because a road guides you. Hi, 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 hi. Cool. Yep. So it's mado seki o ore o koros de koto. So that means um. So is the magic stone trying to kill me or something? There's uh, not really trying me. in here. Yeah, it's the the going to Go, going to yeah. It's mm -hmm. going. Is the magic yeah. stone going to kill me? Yeah. I recognize the koto at the um, end. Uh, yeah, I just need I to see tell. it a few more times. Yeah, I, I could tell when you said, does that mean? I was like, oh, you really internalized that. Yeah. Uh, OK. OK, Chris. Sure. Uh, uh, I think I'll go ahead and translate oh. that first sentence. And then oh, where did that sentence happen? Nah, I could continue next one. I just didn't see that okay. period. Sure. Couldn't find it. So um, I put one of my hands, or I slipped one of my hands in my pocket. There's another uh, verb stem comment that supports your hypothesis on it, for sure. Um, is it slipping into that small space, his pocket? Hi. And, and I imagine she has, a, she has, this, has to do with not knowing, but I haven't looked it up in a while. Unconsciously. Unconsciously. Makes sense. Um, so, and unconsciously, I took the madoseki out. Perfect. Uh, speaking of like out and stuff, dasu is mm -hmm. normally opposite. when something and it's the opposite of komu, which oh, yeah, is so, pretty it, cool. so it doesn't totally always mean leave, even though we're taught like that, because it's normally it goes into a bigger location. So, if you're in a store, yeah. you're going to dasu to go outside because it's in a bigger location. Yeah, yeah and into the store would be komu. I, I like uh, that. So weird. <laughs> Uh, da -da. Um, okay, so the the magic stone is basically sitting in the palm of my hand, and it is kuroguro, which I think is like deep black. black. It's another, yeah, it's another it's, good example of uh, rendaku. It, yeah, right there, right there. Rendaku kuro went twice. I was like, I would doubt it. <laughs> it's like, is it black, mm -hmm. black? I don't yeah, know what this word means. Too. Broken. So it's like a broken up darkness. Uh, a, fragment. Fra a fragment of darkness. That's how black yeah. it was. Yeah. Black uh, is I, doing blackness. Yeah. I've watched a little bit of Inuyasha. All right. Started watching it a while back. Have you guys seen any of it? Not since I was a Kodomo. Okay. Well, perfect. That, that might be even better. Um, so you know how in Inuyasha, they have this stone and it breaks into a million pieces and the whole thing is they're trying to find all the pieces, right? Hi. They refer to those pieces as takeda. Mm. So that's kind of how I internalized it. Makes sense. Makes sense. Um, uh, your turn, Chris. Sure. Mawadhaki wo shite ta ristara madoseki wo ga fukura or madoseki ga fukuran de so um, when I blinked, the madoseki swelled up or grew, and um, that's kind of strange. I guess, and oh, I guess it 
grew probably to the extent that I am holding it with two hands. Mm. Right. But if I hold it with two hands, it's really the direct way of translating. I don't think it's um, really if with toll. Like in English, sometimes these are if and when, but basically he holds it with two hands. And right when he does that, so the, the stone gets bigger, his other hand mm. comes over to hold the item. And then the second thing happens. Right. Right. Yeah. It's kind of chronological, like the tada in this Hi. case. Yeah, that makes sense. So, and as I or as I told, hold it with two hands, or I hold it with two hands, and then it, the darkness grows. Hi. Um, sono yami ga gunto omoku nari danro no hi ga yurame meite kieta. Um, so that darkness um becomes um more heavy, like deep and a gun kind of way noticeably um and it disappears like the fire in a hearth i think that's, the fire the fire in the hearth flickered and disappeared and that's the actual fire, oh yeah fire. oh oh yeah because he's in he's emerged in the darkness so he can no longer see the fire in the hearth okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. hi hi uh your turn chris so um the uh that the owner of the place is a uh, scream could be heard from far um and uh nobody grabbed his uh i also wanted to say staff for one but it's a cane, cane. yeah and um and got up quickly. Another really good example of Vinnaku, Sakebi Goe. Uh, goe, or like Koe, mm -hmm. having something before it, and then Goe is a really, really common example of Vinnaku. Hi. Yeah. It, it, so if you click this, this Koe, but it is probably Goe. Yeah. In like, this context. Kol Goe, Kol Goe. Um, well, that's why it's useful to learn Rendaku, because then you can guess the reading of things eat better. For You'll sure. make less that's, mistakes. But, yeah. but I'm sure that it still like would understand. いや、そう。あ、あたたかあたたかかった窓先が俺の手の中で凍りのように詰め引いたくなった。なるほど。I know it's cold as I know this is a reading of this guy. Yeah, um, <laughs> so the the warm um magical stone, it within my hand it became as cold as ice. There's this um tongue twister I learned when I was like learning to conjugate adjective the adjectives. And it's like right. So Chris, I'm gonna have you do this one and next is gonna be cookie. So cookie is down here. Sure. Um, Got it. So, wait, wait, I got it. <laughs> it's okay. You can still see it. Uh, uh, it's Hanaso. Yeah. Hanaso to Stemo Hanarena. Well, that's so funny having a Hanare uh, mm -hmm. after Hanasu like that. Um, anyways, uh, so the stone, uh, when it grew bigger, I, um, or just as it had grown bigger, um, though I tried to get away, I couldn't. Yes. Hi. I really think it's interesting how they have like a specific verb for when they attempt to do something, but they can't do it, even though mm -hmm. it doesn't have the like the solto stato is like so yeah. interesting to me because yeah, we don't kind of, specify that in English. Yeah, there's there is hanasu with the same hanare there, like, like you can write it the same way. Hanasu. Well, this yeah, is like to release it. So he's saying he want to release the rock, but he cannot leave the rock. Yeah, but if you, if you switch out the the two kanji, if you put mm -hmm. the hanaredu kanji on the hanasu kanji, it still means to release. It's the transitive form of separate. So that's interesting. Yeah, I feel like it gives off different vibes. I think so too. Yeah, like like it's more like hoti, like to really. Because I feel like his goal was to open his hand and the item just fall up. Well, I feel like if it was this kanji, it would more be like him running away from the item, I, I feel. 
Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I think it, it, I think it's the like the the, the passive is... versus like active action. I think I don't I don't yeah, know. I think, for sure. I think I it might be a right. animate versus inanimate thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I think that's the issue because because if you wrote hanasu with the hanareru kanji, right? I think I think that is between living things. Hi hi. Uh, now, Fuki. Yep. Don don omoku. Don don sukuran deiku. So I think it's like don don is gradually, and then it's like mm-hmm. getting more heavy or heavier, yeah. and like then one, one. afterwards it's like don don fukura. So gradually, I remember we I remember we saw um, fukuran deiku somewhere, but I forgot the meaning. Here. It's a uh, to swell. I think is the, the real meaning. Okay, so then I, I probably didn't breath. see this. Okay, you did. Sorry. It showed up earlier. It was on Chris's sentence. Uh yeah. So yeah. it's to get. I don't know so where it's it was, Physically get bigger yes. in volume. Yeah, the rock is swelling up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, tsui ni ishi no tsumetasa ga karada o tsumi konde ore wa unazu uzumaku ankoku no ana e to hiki zuri komareta. Um, suddenly, um, the, the, the coldness of the rock, it envelops my whole body and, um, the darkness that is being a whirlpool, um, it, uh, to, to, it, it drags. So I am dragged into a, the black hole whirlpool of darkness, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's some good commas in there. Some yeah, because you're being dragged inside thing. of the, of yeah, the into thingy. This thing. And the other one right here is the wrapping is kind of wrapping inside of his body. Yep. So see the all those inside of smaller things. <laughs> Samples. Yeah. But yeah, you see how komu komu is so common? Yeah, it's super common. Every so time common. I see Uzumaku, I think of Naruto because that's his last name, Uzumaki. Uzumaki. Yeah, that's what makes it easy to remember. <laughs> Chris, <laughs> um, yeah. Hold on just one second. I'll, I'll uh, be right. Actually, Cookie, I'll make you do this. All right, let's give this a try. Kaze ga mizu no, is that right? Close. Oh. So this would be Mizu. So this is actually ice. Ice, ice, baby. Wait, wait, wait. How is it? Oh, is it because of That's that extra stroke? Yeah, it's, yeah. Be- it's because of that bloody strike. Okay, so, um, and you said the reading was? Ko- kori. Kori, okay. Kori, uh, no, hari no yoni ni, uh, tsuki sasa, sasari, kaze no on, or oto, one of the two. I think it's, oh, it's uh, on. oto. Oto, kaze no oto. Yeah, it's definitely oto. It's yeah, oto, yeah. Go go no uh hone ni hibi ku. Um so I know the beginning at the end part is like an echo or something, isn't mm, it? Yeah, and then, hone, and then hone is like um your skeleton or your bones. Yeah. Hi. So um, it echoes in the skeleton in a go go is the oto, isn't it? Yeah. Um oh. in other words, rattled, I think is how we say yeah, it. Yeah, rattle. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the wind and if we look at the beginning, the wind is the wind is like ice or something, or is mm-hmm. the icy wind? Yeah, it's like a um, needle. Do you of know ice. what ha- yeah, well oh, yeah. Sorry, well, well the most important part was like with the tuki sasari. So that's why we're saying it's a needle of sasari. needle of ice. So tuki oh. this means to stab. So it feels like a needle, I guess of ice or I'd say a frozen evil needle is stabbing me. Yeah. Mm. So okay. it also means to stab, right? Yeah. Stab, stab. It's, it's stab, stab. Uh, specifically, it's like poke, stab. The first one's mm-hmm. normally poking, and the second one is stabbing. Yeah. Mm. I see. 